After setting the cut depths, the lead in, lead out will be set. The lead in, lead out establishes the path the cutting tool will take as it leads into and off of the cut. To do this, I'll select the lead in slash out tab. Most of the time, the default values will work very well for many, if not most, situations. So what are these default values and what do they do? First, if I disable the lead in out, then the tool will plunge on the corner of the part where the geometry starts to the depth of cut and then after cutting along the selected geometry it will lift up again at the corner where the job entry ends. It's probably very rare when you would want this to happen so I'll leave the lead in out enabled. The gouge check will do just what it says and it will prevent the tool from gouging into the part. The default lead in and out is to sweep the cutting tool through a 90 degree arc whose radius is equal to that of the tool diameter. This arc will end where the part geometry to be machined starts. Prior to the arc, the tool will travel in a straight line tangent to the arc, again for a length equal to the cutter diameter, one inch in this case. These default values may be changed, however, they typically work well, and for this toolpath they will not be altered unless a problem is noticed later in the simulation. As we work through this course, more of the many options here will be explained.